Welcome back to Monday's Blue Review. Look, we're back here after a long weekend. What's going on? CY over there. Greg Bergman here. Blue Review is presented by the Los Angeles International Airport, where changes are arriving daily to help reduce traffic, save travelers time, and transform the travel experience. So we had a bunch of games to talk about, Clinton, about what happened over the weekend. There was two good things. There was good things and bad things, right? Yeah. So good. Start off there. Always want to start off positive. The pitching staff, the starting pitching was actually very good. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more from Julio Arias where he didn't get to, he didn't finish six innings. Uh, he gave up three runs. He needs to be the guy that you've been talking about a lot, being the stopper that right. we've been talking about a lot. And he didn't do that this weekend because he gave up, give those back-to-back -back jacks um, to and Cody Bellinger being one of those, which is, you know, funny in itself. Um, but the good thing that I saw was, oh yeah, sorry. The pitching staff was the good thing. No. The bad thing was the hitting two runs per game is unacceptable it's unacceptable for this team they need to score more than that to win games and that's just how the mlb in general is right now you need to put up runs i i agree and there's a couple points in that i mean also i think this team has to figure out how, how are you actually going to win baseball games is because if the starting pitching is what you want it to be Two runs okay that's not a ton of runs but maybe you get a nice outing from somebody that gets you a win they only gave up three runs to lose that game. And that, that's kind of where you're thinking to yourself, well, goodness, like you're losing close games. You're scoring a lot of runs. You're losing games. That's not what you want. As for the hitting, though, I'm starting to have a real problem with the way this team approaches base running. I don't mind not a ton of straight steals. I don't even necessarily mind focusing on first to third as everything you're doing. But in general, it seems that teams realize the Dodgers, the Dodgers aren't going anywhere on the base pass when situational hitting comes up. And I think it's really affecting their ability to score the runs that you're talking about. If people don't assume that you're going anywhere, you don't seem like much of a threat unless you can actually match the ball. This team is too athletic, in my opinion, from a construction roster standpoint, not to be even trying or even taking chances for Outman to be the only one ever really going anywhere. I, I don't get that. I get why people think that in terms of, we just don't think that that's a plus or an option. I, I tend to disagree. Move your guys around the bags a little bit more, and you might have a little bit more production in close games like that. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. I think it's a huge deal. The stolen base this year really changes the game. The stolen base along with the pitch clock changes yeah. everything. It, it puts so much more pressure onto these pitchers that you have to be able to do that. And you're right. James Outman is the only guy that's even willing to go right now. But then who else? I mean, I guess you're saying from the construction Part, Mookie's got to be moving more. Mookie's got to be Agreed. moving more to me. Freddie Freeman Especially is actually a good base runner, even he though is. he's a large man. People seem to think that all base runners got to be skinny guys that are swiping bags. That's not what I mean. I just mean a general level of aggressiveness that puts a little bit more pressure on the defense. It's something that the Dodgers need to ramp up as I see it. Now, one last thing about the offense that I don't love that is not going well. Also, Will Smith being out is a huge problem. With all due respect yep. to Austin Barnes, that guy hadn't started three straight games since 2020. And in general, him not being there is an issue from a bat standpoint. And I don't love how they're talking about this injury. They say that he's passed all the tests, but he just doesn't feel right. In the best interest of Will Smith, okay, you're on the shelf for a while until you get better. But that's not the kind of thing where I think, A, he's going to come back behind the dish and have everything there. And B, he's going to be able to float right into it in terms of getting back on swing and getting back in the rhythm. Like, that's a tough situation going forward for this team. So yeah, Will Smith is such a stabilizing portion of this of this lineup that to have him out and because of this concussion, like concussions are weird, man. Like you yeah. get a concussion, you don't know. I mean, he got hit in the in, he got hit in the face mask on a game on Friday or whatever it was Thursday, and all of a sudden he's out for a bunch of games in a row, and now he's not coming back till Thursday. That's right. the earliest he can come back. So you really need to start. The key is that guy that stabilizes that entire lineup when you have Mookie getting on base three times and if you get Freddie to move him over Will Smith is the guy that's going to drive him in I, right. I trust him more than anybody else on this roster to drive guys in for the most part so to lose him is is really big and you see and that that goes along with those those only two runs for the entire weekend because he wasn't there right. it's a, it was a really frustrating weekend losing two or three to a Cubs team that's not very good is a little bit is a little bit tough so I will say this, though, quickly, which is that let's look at the up-down rate of wins and losses in this season. It's not like they won seven in a row and lost seven in a row. They're moving 
at a 500 clip, which to me indicates that, like I said before, they're not necessarily sure where they are identity wise, how to win, or perhaps just the talent gap isn't as big as they think compared to a lot of other teams right now. And the idea that you're just going to get in gear and coast for three or four games or even three or four series, something we've become accustomed to in Los Angeles from a Dodgers team. I don't know that we're going to see a ton of that this year. That's not to say they're not a good team. It's not to say they won't scrap. It's not to say they can't finish with 85, 90 wins, but something's going to have to change about how what they do goes because right now they don't look like a team that can reel off four or five on anybody as evidenced by the fact that after three weeks, they're 500. They're not, I mean, they're just not that team. Unfortunately, I know it's still pretty early, so we can't get too high and too low about these things, but look at the bottom of the lineup. The batting order is, is rough when you're, when the bottom is, you know, when it, whether it's Miguel Rojas is in, when it's Rojas and Vargas and Taylor and Hayward and who are all guys that, can hit at times you're getting a bunch of solo home runs from chris taylor right now but the problem is that's a rough bottom of the lineup you're not expecting to get too much out of there and it all has to be on the top so you're putting so much more pressure on Betts and freeman and you know will smith when he comes back jd martinez type guys but when you have like it's it's tough when you especially when you get a night when freddie freeman goes gets four strikeouts gets a golden sombrero you're in trouble. That means yeah. you're going to lose. Like, I don't know what else to say about that. You want to give some props, though, to the Dodgers on Jackie Robinson Day, of course, a special day Absolutely. for the franchise. They got the win on that bottom of the order on an audacious send on the base pass. Maybe that's how you should be playing baseball, Dodgers. Just saying. Jackie you're, Robinson. you're absolutely right. And also Jason Hayward taking over that whole thing where he was the one that got to – Dave Roberts right. said, Jason, go <laughs> out there and talk to the guys. Loved it. For Blue Review, that'll do it for Clinton and I. We'll see you tomorrow.